Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will see uh, the usage of uh, uh, each command uh, that is present in uh, Cypress. So we may get a scenario like uh, uh, validating some uh, email address or uh, uh, passing different values to the same input. So in our uh, uh, website, uh, if you navigate to recruitment and add candidate, so there is a, a email field is there. Okay. So the email, whenever we are entering uh, email address, it should be in valid format, right? So sometimes uh, we pass uh, uh, different values. So if I press A, uh, if I enter value A, then it is giving an error. So if I space enter space B, then the error will be there. So I can pass a uh, different values here. So if I just enter at the rate A, uh, the error is still there. I just need to enter dot. Okay. So we can pass uh, uh, different uh, combinations of email IDs. So the space is there. That's why it is still uh, showing the error, error here. So if I remove the space, then uh, this error will disappear. So we can pass uh, different combinations of uh, uh, error messages, uh, uh, different combinations of values uh, for uh, uh, validating the email. So uh, here in this case, we will see how we can pass different values uh, and how we can test these error messages for um, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios, we will see. So for that, uh, let's um, navigate to our code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, uh, I am creating a file email uh, email validations dot cy dot js okay and i'm describe email validations and then before each I'm going to copy paste it from my previous test. So we will see in coming videos how we can reduce uh, uh, writing all this code and everything. So uh, we are going to create a custom commands. Okay, I'll I'll I will prepare all those videos uh, in coming. So after that, uh, I'm creating a test case validate email input. And then, yeah, so I'm going to recruitment and then click on select, uh, click on add button. So after that, what we need to do is um, we need to create a say, uh, this combinations, uh, uh, combinations of uh, uh, email addresses that we are going to iterate. Okay, uh, in this scenario, I'm giving some one one input and then uh, a, a space b and then a b at the rate a there is no dot and then uh, and then other scenario some numbers of number after at the rate and at the rate uh, a dot so yep let's take these five values and we can iterate so all these five values are invalid email address so the valid email address is uh, uh, a dot a, a at the rate a dot com so let's take um, invalid ones okay so we need to iterate this all the uh, five values so we are not going to do uh, for a valid one we will see that one later so what what we are going to do is we need to get the values so to get the values so there is a uh, wrap uh, command so we can uh, use the wrap uh, what wrap will do is it will um, yields the uh, value of an object okay so we are taking an object so here it is an array so the first value is a and the second value will be a space b and the third is a b at the rate a and fourth is uh, a b at the rate one 
and the fifth one is uh, a b at the rate a dot okay let's take these five scenarios and i'm going to and i need to iterate all these values so to iterate these values um, we are going to use each each command so it will iterate each value that are present in this array so what each uh, will take is uh, uh, it take uh, as an argument first uh, in the first argument it will return an element and then in the second argument it will return an index and the third element uh, it will return complete element um, a list okay element you can say element array so uh, yeah let's give a braces there okay and then here what we are going to do is so we need to get that um, uh, email input okay and we need to type that email here so to get that email uh, input um, so this is the input uh, input element so let's take one two three and this is the fourth uh, input element the vacancy is um, uh, not an uh, not an input element so this is not a select box so this is the fourth input um, uh, element okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm 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 taking uh, i'm going to take that uh, uh, fourth element so input element cy dot get input and then uh, I'm going to get that fourth one and then uh, first uh, I'm going to clear it and then I'm going to type the value that are uh, that is uh, the, the element that we are going to get um, uh, from this array that is uh, element okay when I type the element um, you have already seen the moment that I type uh, uh, we are going to get the error okay so we need to validate um, uh, this error first so from where from where we can validate this error is so we can get the error message uh, some css here okay so uh, we can validate cy dot get and then element so it should have of length uh, one okay this error message of this uh, type should have length of one and um, to get the message we can use the same and then uh, equal take the first as, as we are going to get only one we can take the first one and then it should uh, have a text of or you can use a contains also have a text of um, if you see here so it is expected format is this one so this text we need to validate okay so let's see how it is going to execute for all these elements okay so i'm going to save this file and then going to cypress test runner and after that i am going to navigate to email validations so once i started executed see it's navigated there if you see here if you see in the test runner so first it uh, typed a and then uh, you can see we have expected um, it should have a length one and then the message should be this one and after that um, uh, we have selected input four and then we have entered another value a, a space b and it also passed and after that uh, a a b at the rate a uh, yeah assertions uh, both assertions passed and a b at the rate one that is also passed uh, we have got um, error and the final one is a b at the rate a dot for that also we have got um, an error okay so in this way we can uh, validate the error so on the final step uh, what we can do is so we need to get this uh, element 
once everything is done to check whether we are getting uh, uh, the error uh, if we enter uh, a valid email address so what should it should have a length of uh, a zero right or you can check uh, it should be not not be visible something like that so the moment i save it will start execution it will start execution and see it is not there it is undefined means it is not there so it is verified as zero as length length as zero okay in this way uh, you can uh, validate uh, uh, email uh, multiple values and if you see the text is uh, a at the rate here the final value that we have entered is there okay thank you